While the Yuhi Repro synthesizer have set a new standard in analog synthesizer emulation, it's a fact most people cannot distinguish Diva from a real analog synthesizer. Multiple blind A-B tests have been made on forums and the result is clear. Diva sounds fantastic on its own or in a mix. Diva is the golden middle road of synthesis, having a semi-modular architecture, letting you swap out parts of the synthesizer without messing around with virtual cables. Create your own dream synth. Moog oscillators with Roland filters never gets old. While many synths rely on a modulation matrix, Diva does not. Instead, you set the modulation directly on the parameter. A matrix would open up the sound design's options more, but this way Diva becomes very quick to use. While five effects is not much, they are flexible. There are two effect slots. The rotary effect can be used to add distortion, the reverb can be squeezed into a car plus strong sounding resonator and the three taps delay can make nice lo-fi reverbs. One of the oldest synthesis tricks in the book to get beefy bass sounds is to add a bit of high pass filter with a bump of resonance. Diva has one fantastic resonant high pass filter based on a filter from Korg. Diva doesn't have a regular unison mode, but it does have something much cooler. The stack tune function in the trimmers page let you stack up to six copies of the current voice you are working on. Each copy can be individually tuned plus minus two octaves, making it easy to either make fat unison style sounds or even chords. The really cool thing about this mode is that it doesn't automatically put Diva in monophonic mode. So if you set Diva to max 16 voices and use six stacked voices, you still have a three voice polyphony at hand. There are a handful of extra modulation slots in the modifications tab. You can actually set up five extra modulations, FM cross modulation, resonance, feedback, filter FM and noise dual VCO. These are easy to overlook and is often the key to bring out something new from Diva. Modulating the resonance is cool. Cross modulation is my number one favorite function in Diva and is a way to add FM modulation-esque madness to a sound. It is probably the most important function you should look at if you're into atmospheric soundscapes or complex techno sounds. The ring modulator in the Korg oscillator is another very useful function that will bring Diva out from traditional subtractive synthesis territory it's a bit like the Jupiter cross modulation, not as wild though. Under the modifications tab, there are six functions that can reshape modulators into other shapes. This is the place to go if you feel you need a different shape of the envelope or you want more advanced LFO shapes. You can quantize, multiply, add, rectify, invert, and even create lags, which is great if you want to get rid of pops and clicks. My favorite synthesizer is Diva, and Repro and Omnisphere, depending on my mood and what I am working on. But although Diva scores insanely high in my book, there are two things I miss from it. The first one is a decent distortion effect. Sure, we can overdrive the internal signal path and there is a distortion in the rotary effect. But adding the distortion models from, let's say, Repro 5 would open up a whole new world for Diva. Secondly, I'd really like to see a sequencer, like the one in Hive, to sequence phrases and or use it as a modulation source. But even with those omissions, I can't praise Diva high enough and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to get into sound design.